I bless y'all when they was passed. Come on, give God praise in the house. Come on, give God your best praise, your best praise. Give praise in this house, give praise in your house. Come on, God is good. Praise the Lord all the time. God is good. Amen. Praise the Lord. It is so good to be here. I want to welcome you to our in-person and online worship service here at the Solid Rock Mystery Baptist Church where the Lord Christ is. Amen. My name is Pastor Thomas Keys. I'm the fortunate to be the pastor of a great people here at Solid Rock. And we have a threefold focus for our worship services today. Number one, we want to give God that saved us, God that provides for us, God that helps us. We want to give him the very best praise that we can. Number two, we want to preach the word of God so that the people of God may be edified to go through for the next seven days. Amen. And we want to also preach the gospel so that the lost can be compelled to come to Christ and experience this great salvation that we have today. So to lead us in our worship is our very own Vice Chairman of our Deacon Ministry, Brother Wade Gray Chambers Jr. Let's praise God for him as we come. service this morning. Let us show our zeal for the Lord by joining in with the choir as they lead us in a period of praise.
worship, which is found on the back of your bulletin. I will read the part of the leader, and you will respond as the people. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. For by it the elders obtained a good report. Through faith we understand that the worlds were framed by the word of God, so that things which are seen were not made of things which do appear. By faith, Enoch was translated that he should not see death, and was not found because God had translated him. For before his translation, he had this testimony that pleased God, that he pleased God. By faith, Noah, being warned of God of things not seen as yet, moved with fear, prepared an ark to, sit to the saving of his house by the which he condemned the world and became heir to the righteousness by which it which is by faith. Welcome you to today's service. Amen. Yes. 
Now we will have the announcements and church news by Deaconess Diane Jones, followed by pastoral remarks. Good morning, Solid Rock family and friends. Good morning. It is a great day to be inside this house. The sun is shining and it's getting warmer outside. The days are just glorious to be alive. Amen. So we thank God for that. Amen. Here are your announcements today. October 18th. See, I am doing a new thing. Now it springs up. Do you not perceive it? I am making a way in the wilderness and streams in the wasteland. And that comes from Isaiah 43, 19. Solid Rock Missionary Baptist Church has established the endowment program so that we might glorify God by building our new church on our land yeah. at $2,400. The endowment program allows participants to purchase a permanent reminder of their devotion to God and Solid Rock. Amen. You do not have to be a member of Solid Rock in order to participate in the endowment program. You can obtain a program brochure and an enrollment form from any usher. You may also support this effort by simply contributing to the Solid Rock Building Fund. Contributions to the Building Fund can also be made by visiting the Solid Rock website and clicking on the donation button. In addition, please empty the weight from your pockets and purses by bringing your coins and depositing it into our Change for Church container and watch the temperature rise on our thermometer. These funds, along with any donations made in the Give Your With Your Heart envelopes, all goes to our building fund. And while you're home, you can continue to save those coins to put in our thermometer when you get back to church. Yeah, that's right. Solid Rock 2020, all in from vision to fruition. Yeah, yeah. Just a reminder, Ministry meetings. If you are meeting via, via Solid Rock conference call, you must notify the church secretary prior to your meeting to be placed on the calendar. Your ministry meetings times date must be placed on the church calendar. Please do not schedule meetings via Solid Rock conference call without approval. This is so we do not have any time conflicts with minister meetings. Please keep in prayer. Sister Joanne Scott, she's at home. Sister Grace Williams, Church of God Home, Carlisle, VA, room 229. Brother Willie Harris, Green Creek Nursing and Rehabilitation Center, room 111. Brother Paul Carey, he's at home. Minister Kirsten Keyes, she's at home. Trustee Abigail Howard, she's at home. And Sister Margaret Jones, I believe she is home now. To notify the church of any illness, hospitalization, or death in your family, please email the assistant church secretary, Sister Jamie Foster, at jamiecfoster at gmail.com. And again, this is very important so that we know, we don't want to get in your business, but we want to know if something's wrong with you or if you're in the hospital so we can continue to pray for you. Um, please remember, this month is Breast Cancer Month, and many of you, as me also, have people that are affected by breast cancer. So please, ladies, remember to get scheduled your mammograms if you haven't done so. Thank you. And we'll now have a special announcement by Deacon Mickens. Praise the Lord, church. Praise the Lord, church. Praise the Lord. Coming to you again for Vote 2020. Vote 2020. This is the most important election of our lifetime, without a doubt. First, two important dates. Tomorrow, October 19th, is the last date to register to vote in Pennsylvania. Tomorrow, Monday, October 19th is the last day to register. You can register online. Okay, so we need to take care of that. October 27th, 
is the last date to request a mail-in ballot in Pennsylvania. All right, so you need to be aware of that. That's October 27th, the last day to request a mail-in ballot. Uh, we've talked before, if you're going to mail your ballot in, you should fill it out and mail it as soon as you receive it. Make sure that you put it in the privacy envelope first, and then you put it inside the mailing envelope. If you don't put it in the privacy envelope, and put it in the mailing envelope, your vote will not be recorded. Okay? So that's important. Now, you can also uh, obtain a mail-in ballot by going to the Dauphin County Administration Building at 2 South 2nd Street. You can walk in there, request a mail-in ballot, and you can fill out the mail-in ballot right then and there. They'll help you fill it out if you need help and will tell you if you made an error so that you can correct it, and then you can vote right there. So effectively, this is early voting in Pennsylvania, okay? So we need to take advantage of that. A number of people have told me they have already done that, and so I, I urge those who are considering it to go ahead and do it that way. You've taken care of it, and it's done, and you know that your vote has been recorded, okay? Now, the third thing, we all know that the vote for president is why everyone is excited, and rightfully so. It's extremely important who the next president of this country is going to be. However, there are also other uh, jobs that are on the ballot that we should be paying very much attention to. There's a vote for attorney general. There's a vote for auditor general. There's a vote for treasurer. There are also votes for state representative, all right? There are votes for uh, U.S. representative, okay? And there are votes for the state senator from your district. All of those uh, votes, are, all of those positions are on the ballot for November 3rd. So we need to pay attention to those, all right? The, the final thing is, those who are planning to vote in person, make sure that you show up as soon as you can on November 3rd. The other thing to be aware of, you do not have to explain yourself to anyone as you go into the ballot, uh, uh, ballot office on, to your precinct on election day, okay? Uh, there's been a lot of talk about uh, folks poll, poll watchers things of that sort. Please know that you don't have to explain yourself to anyone. Once you get inside, you will deal with the, the uh, poll officers, okay? Poll workers who are, who are verified to work in that office, they will then interact with you. If you encounter any kind of problem when voting, look for the, elect, the judge of elections at your precinct and speak to them, okay? So it's important that you know that you have rights, and you need to exercise them. Amen? So on November 3rd, we're going to all get out and vote. Amen. Prior to that, those of us who want to mail in votes, we're going to do that or go down to the Dauphin County Administration Building and turn it off, receive a mail-in ballot, and turn it in. Let's vote 2020. Amen? Amen. Praise the Lord.
to the great move that God has in store for us, y'all. And uh, we have a groundbreaking that will be scheduled very soon. We have a groundbreaking that will be scheduled very soon in the month of November, amen. Come on and give God praise in the house of God. you know when that is. Uh, it's going to be in November. We'll get the exact date and time uh, this week. Amen. Praise the Lord. Uh, also, we wanted to let you know about Sunday school, y'all. We have Sunday school on Saturday here at the church. Amen. The adults are getting together uh, every Saturday morning at 11 o'clock via Zoom. Uh, we have had some wonderful lessons the last two weeks. So please, ma'am, please, sir, join us. Look, you don't have to drive. You don't have to come out of your house. Uh, please uh, make sure that if you're not in your clothes that you don't let people see. But anyway, just uh, come and join us for Sunday school. We have great teachers, great curriculum. It's going to be awesome. So join us every Saturday. This Saturday, what time, y'all? 11 a.m. Uh, right now we have a slight change. What we're going to do next week, we are going to have Bible studies via Zoom. Uh, so please join us for anxiety. This will be our last lesson in this series. And then we have something special coming for the uh, last Wednesday in October. I'll let you know about that uh, later on this week. But please, ma'am, please, sir, join us for Bible study uh, on Wednesday at 6.30 via Zoom and via Facebook Live. Amen? Uh, COVID-19 update. We are still dealing with the COVID-19 in our area. Uh, we are following all of the CDC and Department of Health guidelines. So if you feel bad to come out and join us physically, amen, come on out and join us. We will socially distance and be sure that we take care of you, amen. So good to see uh, uh, Mother Betty Johnson. I think that's you under that mask. Is that you? Praise the Lord for her, amen. Good to see you. Mom Rose and everybody else, we love y'all. Uh, we don't have any of our members that have, that have been afflicted with COVID-19 and the ones that have been afflicted they have recovered, so we praise God for that. Uh, tomorrow morning, y'all, 6 o'clock, please join us on the prayer call. Amen? Uh, the number is on the screen and on the back of your bulletin. Beloved, we really need to ramp up our prayers as we go into what God has in store for us. So please, man, please, sir, it's only like a half an hour unless the Spirit leads us to go longer. Uh, join us for prayer. Uh, it's going to be an exciting time. Well, I'm excited about what the Lord has in store for us, beloved. And let's thank Him. Let's praise Him. Let's ask for His continued favor and watch what He does in our lives. I wish I had the pictures, man, but uh, last week uh, we celebrated the birthday of our own Eula Webster, amen. We rode by our house and made all kind of noise. It was wonderful. It was awesome. Can we just praise God with Sister Eula, amen. And uh, we did have a couple of check-ins with Brother Willie Harris and, and Mom Grace, amen. Our family members were able to visit them. Let's praise God for them. Uh, as here in uh, Dalton County Nursing Home and Carlisle Nursing Home, uh, Church of God Nursing Home, amen. Uh, beloved, we are just grateful for what God is doing. I'm excited. Listen. November is going to be a very exciting month for this church, amen? amen. God is going to be, he is moving already. So I just want y'all to kind of strap in and get ready for the ride that God has for us, y'all. It's exciting. At the end of the year, the beginning of the year started off rough, y'all. But the end of the year, God is moving us full circle to the future. And that's because, y'all, we are the Solomon Mission Baptist Church. What a lot of Christ is. Come on and give God praise in the house of God. Let us all rise for the hymn of praise, lift him up, which will be followed by the reading of the Holy Scripture by Deaconess Angela Ellis, which will be followed by intercessory prayer by Reverend Dr. Arlene Gaston.
scripture for this morning will be found in Genesis chapter 13, verses 8 through 16. And it reads as thus. So Abram said to Lot, Please let there be no strife between you and me, and between my herdsmen and your herdsmen, for we are brethren. It's not the whole land before no. you. Please separate from me. If you take the left, then I'll go to the right. Or if you go to the right, then I'll go to the left. And Lot lifted his eyes and saw all the plain of Jordan, that it was well watered everywhere before the Lord destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah like the garden of the Lord, like the land of Egypt as you go toward Zor. Then Lot chose for himself all the plain of Jordan, and Lot journeyed east, and they separated from each other. Abram dwelt in the land of Canaan, and Lot dwelt in the cities of the plain, and pitched his tent even as far as the Sodom. But the men of Sodom were exceedingly wicked and sinful against the Lord. And the Lord said to Abram, after Lot had separated from him, lift your eyes now and look from the place where you are, northward, southward, eastward, and westward. For all the land which you see, I give to you and your descendants forever. And I will make your descendants as the dust of the earth, so that if a man could number the dust of the earth, then your descendants also could be numbered. Amen. The word of the Lord. Provided it. 
We thank God for the sick and shed in here. We thank God for the ones who are at home. We thank God for the ones who are in nursing facilities. And we pray for them. We pray for our dear sister, Minister Kirsten Keys. We know that God has already given her a swift recovery and all she has to do is believe and walk it out. Just trust God. Those who are here who are sick, just trust God and know that God has already healed you. Walk in out in faith. Whatever it is you need, believe that God has already provided. Walk in out in faith. The issues of life that we are going through today, know that God has it all in control. Because I'm reminded that God can do abundantly above that which we ask or seek. So give it all to him. So right now, Father God, we come right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Laying our cares, laying our petitions, laying our supplications, laying it all on the cross of Calvary. God trusting and believing, as we read this morning, Faith. He who believes and trusts in you, God. We have to know first that you are God and that you are a reward of those who diligently seek you. So it takes faith. Our faith in you, knowing that you can deliver and you will always deliver on time. So whatever is burdening us, Lord God, we give it to you. We cast it over to you. Lord God, if it's sickness, whatever kind of sickness it is, Lord God, whether it's cancer, we know that you can heal cancer and you have healed cancer. If it's diabetes, Lord God, we know that you have it under control. If it's high blood pressure, God, we know that you can bring it down. If it's any form of arthritis, God, we know that you can straighten that out. If it's hunger, God, for food, we know that you are a provider. If we are destitute in hunger for the word, God, we know that you are the living word that can make a life brand new. All it takes is faith and trust and belief in you, God, that you have done, can do, and will do mighty works. We pray, God, that you will open up our eyes that we may behold you, that we may see you. Open up our ears, Lord God, so that we will hear from you and know that it's you that we are hearing. But God, we thank you because you brought us from a mighty long ways. Individually, Lord God, you have brought us from a mighty long ways, from valleys up mountains, God, and we say thank you. Collectively, as a church family, Lord God, you have brought us from a mighty long ways, and God, I am a witness that you are not through with us yet. I know, God, that you have mighty things awaiting us, Lord God. All we have to do is stay on that road, that road of faith, that narrow road, that so few travel. And I know, God, that you have rejoicing and joy in our spirit. We know that you have hope for us, Lord God. We know that we can trust you. We can believe you, Lord God. We can depend on you, God. Because it's not us who have brought us. It is you, the mighty God, the creator of all heaven and earth, who have brought us. Therefore, Lord God, we give it all to you. We give you all our glory. We give you all of our honor. We give you all of our praise. We give you all of our thank yous, Lord God. As we kneel and submit ourselves unto you. As your obedient children, Lord God, walking. My prayer is that when you bring us to this place, this destination, that we never forget from which we came. We never forget who has brought us to where we 
you, Lord. We pray that we will never stop praising you, Lord God, worshiping you, Lord God, trusting in you, Lord God. Because it is you and only you, Lord God, that we yield and submit and humble and trust carrying our loves unto you. And it is in the mighty, marvelous, matchless name of Jesus the Christ who we give all glory, all honor, and praise to a deserving God, a worthy God, a wonderful God, a believing God, a trusting God,
offering time, church. Amen. As we get ready to bring our tithes and offering, just remember there are three ways we can give. You can mail in your offering to 8000 Dairy Street, Suite C and G, Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, zip code 17111. You can also go to our church's website, www.solidrockhbg.com slash donation, or click on the donation button. And the third way is through Cash App, and our uh, code is dollar sign the rock pay. That's dollar sign T H E R O C K E A Y. Please give as God has directed to you. give. God has directed you to give. Now let us bow our heads as we get ready. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for this another opportunity that you've given us to give back a portion of what you blessed us with in the form of these tithes and offerings. We pray that they will be used for kingdom building. Continue to be with us, guide us, and direct us. In Jesus' name we pray with thanksgiving. Amen. Everyone please stand and follow the directions of the ushers.
speak to this today. But you got to recognize and realize what God is doing in this church. What God is doing in this church. Other churches have attempted what we've attempted to do and they haven't been able to do it. So we're standing on the side of love. And all of the two of you stand on the side of love. Give God praise. Give God praise. Trust me, as sure as I'm eating, I'm going to get to all of them, amen? And uh, it's been a blessing to my wife, and she amen. thanks y'all. And so you guys have just been awesome. Amen. But here, here's the word of the Lord from the New King James Version. Starting in verse 8 and 9 of chapter 13. And Abraham said to Lot, Please let, let there be no strife between you and me, between my husband and your husband. We are brethren. Somebody said we are brethren. We are brethren. Is not the whole land before you? Please separate from me. If you take the left, then I'll go to the right. If you go to the right, then I will go to the left. And then drop down to verse 17 and 18. And the Lord is talking now. He says, Arise! Mm -hmm. Walk through the land, walk in the land through its length and its width. For I give it to you. Amen. Abraham moved his tent and dwelt there by the terebinth trees of Mamre, which are the Hebron, and built an altar there to the Lord. 
Thank you for from our sermon topic, beloved, our series, Full Circle to the Future, Part 2. And the sermon is called, is called Going in the Direction of a Blessing. I tell you, neighbor, I'm going in the direction of a blessing. I tell you, neighbor, I'm going in the direction of a blessing. I tell you, you can come with me if you want to. That's great. Father, I want to thank you. Lord God, for being our solid rock. We thank you that we've just seen a glimpse of your blessing this week. We're grateful to see you take us all the way. Father God, there are so many competing voices that want to lead us this way, that way, the other way. But Father, point us directly to Jesus Christ, the way, the truth, and the life. Father, we ask you to speak to me through this message, speak to us through this message, that we may no longer be driven by all of the winds of the world, but be pointed without wavering to the path you have for us. That we might see your blessings and be a blessing. Help someone who's off course to be directed to your son for salvation and grace. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. I remember back in the day, y'all, uh, if you were traveling on a road trip, right, and you, you were in your car, and you needed to direct to put my first slide, if you will, you would need a map, y'all. And, and, and next slide. You would need a map, y'all. And you would need, you remember the folding maps? Amen. Amen. Yeah, then you could get a folding map for a city or a whole state, even for the whole country. The problem with the folding maps is once you got them unfolded, <laughs> It was hard to fold them things back up, amen? amen? You end up throwing those away and getting another map later on down the road. Mm -hmm. But then came next, the GPS system, amen? amen. You can mount them in your car, right? And they would give you turn-by-turn -turn instructions, and if you got off course, it could redirect you. Mm -hmm. Say, recalculate. Like Those things were expensive, y'all. Amen. amen. But then, now, today, everybody has Google Maps on their cell phone. Right? So, so really, there should be no reason why anybody gets, gets lost in this Harrisburg in the city, right? Amen. So we always have access to directions that will lead us to the places where we get the things we need or even the things that we desire. Mm -hmm. While people depend on their GPS for their physical needs, many of us are still angry, many of us are still upset, and many of us are still unfulfilled. That's because we really need directions to the spiritual blessings that only God can provide. Amen? Amen. But fortunately, the next slide, if you will, God has provided a global or a GPS of his own. It is, number one, God's positioning systems. Amen. Amen. You like how I did that, you like that. And so his positioning system is, consists of three things. It consists of the word of God. Right? And it consists of the Spirit of God. And it also consists of the Word of God. If you keep yourself out of the Word, following the Spirit, and in the church, you will be in position Amen. to set yourself for a blessing. Amen. Is there anybody here that's glad right now? You're in position to go in the direction Amen. of God's blessings that the world can't give and the world can't take away. Next slide, if you will. Beloved, we can continue our sermon series. Full circle to the future. Yes. High level view of the lives of the Old Testament patriarchs, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Mm -hmm. As you look at their lives, y'all, we see that although there were challenging times and challenging people in their day, God, ooh, y'all, God still sovereignly moved them to get to the future he has for them. Amen. Amen. Beloved, the same thing true today. It seems like there are cycles below it of discouragement. Cycles of disappointment, yes. cycles of disillusionment yes. that seems to put us on a path where we just, brother Betty, where we just seem to be going in circles. Yes. Mm -hmm. Amen? Amen. From, listen, from one painful thing to another. Mm -hmm. Amen? Amen. But, but, but listen, in all of what it seems like what it is, it may be confusing right now, y'all. God is still working yes, yes. and bringing us yes. full circle to the future. Yes. Somebody here needs to know that while you've been going through a tough time, yes. you need to know that God is still working. God is still moving. God has you going in that direction. And if you would just hold on and hold out, he will lead you to a blessing. Yes. Tell your neighbor and tell yourself, it's working, Christopher. Eyes have Ears haven't heard what God has prepared for those who love the Lord. If you love the Lord, praise God like He needs you to a blessing. 
Last week we saw God calling Abram, Abraham. Last week we saw God calling Abram, Abraham. Out for the rest of the confused, sinful, mm -hmm. and idolatrous world mm -hmm. to follow him to a land that God would show him. Abraham was discerning. Somebody say discerning. discerning. Abraham was delivered. Somebody say delivered. delivered. And he was determined. Somebody say determined. determined. To go by faith toward his future. As we come to chapter 13, Abraham on his way to his future, on the way to his future faced some difficulties, y'all, mm -hmm. and some tests. And Abraham and his family, y'all, listen, y'all, they made some wrong decisions. Mm -hmm. Instead of trusting God, they took a trip down to Egypt. Yeah. And going to Egypt, Abraham, oh, y'all, Abraham got so scared that someone would kill him for his wife that he told his wife to lie and say he was her sister. Yeah. His sister. And then allowed her to go and spend the day or the night in the Pharaoh's house. Oh. All the women are saying, uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Brothers, look, take your wife out tonight, amen? <laughs> Let them know you ain't going to sell her out. <laughs> but even though they made a bad move and made some bad decisions, God, by his grace, fixed it. So that Abraham and Sarah, listen, wouldn't suffer the full con uh, consequences of the sin they had committed. Mm -hmm. yeah. And Pharaoh let them go. Okay. <laughs> they made a bad choice. Yeah. Yeah. All right. They were in Pharaoh's house. Yeah. Yeah. But in spite of their bad choice, yeah. God gave them grace yeah. and had them delivered from Pharaoh. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, he did. Yeah. Yeah. Have you ever made a bad choice? Yeah. Yeah. Have you ever made a mess of your life? Oh, yeah. And God, by his grace, delivered you. You ought to give God praise. Okay, look, I'm just going to praise God for myself when I made some bad choices. God delivered me. So now, listen, after they got delivered from a bad decision to go to Egypt, Abraham started having family conflict among themselves. Yeah, yeah. Ain't it one thing after another? Not find it strange that even after the Lord delivers us from the enemy, mm -hmm. we still find some way to fight among each other. Amen. 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 I'm going to drive right past that. <laughs> Abraham's lot, Abraham's nephew lot, rather, and his herdsmen got into it with Abraham's herdsmen. Because the land couldn't support the abundance of livestock for both families. Mm -hmm. So Abraham and Lot decided to separate in order to keep from fighting all the time. Mm -hmm. Lot chose a well-watered plain mm -hmm. towards Sodom and Gomorrah, and Abram went in the other direction. Now, now, this is just Thomas Key. Can I postulate? Can I do it? Mm -hmm. It might be safe to conclude today that God allowed the strife between Lot and Abram to separate them. Watch this, y'all. To move Abram to the direction of the blessings he had for him. Amen. Amen. And ultimately the blessings he has for the world through salvation through Jesus Christ. And I want you to know, beloved, sometimes, 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 God allows discomfort. God allows crisis. God allows conflict to move you to the place where you can be directed to his right. Amen. 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 It might be uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. It might be tough right now. Yeah. But yeah. you need to trust that God is moving yeah. you yeah. in the direction yeah. of the blessing. Oh, yeah. Amen. So what I want to do in this message is run this passage, see how conflict and choice leads to confirmation and celebration of going in the direction of God's blessing. That's deep, Pastor. That's deep. That's deep. That's deep. Yeah. So here it is. Let, 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 you ready to say let's go? Here it is. Y'all strap in now. Stay away. Put, uh, hunt your neighbor. And here it is. Here's the scripture. Look at verse 8 to 9 of chapter 13. Uh, Abraham, Abraham said a lot. Look, look, don't let it be any strife between you and me. Between my husband and yours. And listen, say this together. We are brethren. Yes. Is not the whole man before you? Please separate from me. If you take the left, then I'll go to the right. If you go to the right, then I will go to the left. Look for my first point here. Conflict and change will lead you in the direction of God's blessing. Amen. Amen. 
See, you see the strife between Abraham and Lot in those two factions? We live in a time, beloved Sister Vicki, where everybody's divided. Yeah. Division amongst the races, division amongst the political parties, division between men and women, East Shore against the West Shore. Look, y'all, even candy gives a division. There's a division, Jasmine, between left twist and right twist. Amen? Mm. Now, how do we need to listen to the late prophet Rodney King? Can we all get along? Yeah. And should never, can we all get along? Yeah. But here we see an instance where strife may not be caused by the Lord, but it is allowed by the Lord to separate Abram and get him to go in the direction of his blessing. In other words, there's some separate, see, can, let me, let me, let me start here. See, this, this message is like a, like a uh, five-hour steak. It'll be tough at first, but if you keep chewing, it'll get tender. Amen. Here, here it is. In other words, there are some separations in your life that are necessary in order to move you to the specific blessing and purpose God has for you. God uses conflict, uh -huh. strife, uh -huh. even persecution uh -huh. to move his people into the direction of his perfect will. Yeah. Early in Genesis, God confused the language of the people to get them to fill the earth. In, 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 in Acts chapter uh, 5 and 6, he used the persecution of the Romans to get the Christians to take the gospel everywhere. But let me make a point here. Just because, listen, just because you have to separate from somebody mm. don't mean you get the chance to throw them away. Amen. You, can't, you don't get the chance to treat them harshly uh -huh. or act like they don't exist. Amen. Know what Abraham says in verse 8. We are brethren. My point is, even though we might get into it as a family, we still boys, we still brothers, we still sisters, right? Amen. They're still family. Abram even comes to Lot's rescue after they've been captured by the enemy and interceded on Lot's behalf when he was going to when the Lord was going to destroy Sodom and Gomorrah. My point is, is while the Lord may be shaking things, mm -hmm. the Lord may be changing things, mm -hmm. the Lord may be moving things, mm -hmm. and it may be painful, and you may not understand what's going on. Don't go off. Control your emotions. Understand like the songwriter said, even when I don't see it, you're working. Even when I don't feel it, you're working. You never stop. You never stop working. He's a way maker. Promise keeper. Light in the darkness. Tell somebody he's making a way. He's making a way to move me in the direction of my blessing. How many married women got married women, amen? Got some married women in here, got some engaged women in here, engaged, engaged. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> but y'all like getting roses, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, you ever have your man or your boo give you a box of roses, long stem roses in a box, Janet? I know you do, you get all kinds of roses. And, and with a bow on it, right? And you're so excited, oh, I'm so excited. And you, and you keep the book, the, the box right, you pull, you pull the rope, uh, uh, ribbon open, you open the box, can't wait, you stick your hand in, get one of those roses, and then you stuck back on. <laughs> but I hope you don't get mad. Because even though you're stuck by the thorn, the thought is the husband or the boo gave you the roses to show you how much he loves you. So the beauty of the roses and the effect of God's love is worth having to deal with some thoughts. In every beautiful blessing, that God has directed you toward. Yeah. There are some thorny things we're going to have to deal with. Yeah. Yeah. Relationships that are thorny. Disappointments that are thorny. Discomforts that are thorny. But if you can hold on to the stem yeah. despite the pain, there's going to be something beautiful that will bloom in your life. Tell your neighbor, I'm holding on. I'm holding on. It's going to be. Yeah. It's a conflict. Discomfort brings 
change, right, that pushes you in the direction of your blessing. But the second point here is a choice in the direction. Look at verses 10 to 15, hanging out with your pastor. And Lot lifted up the eyes and saw the plain of Jordan, right? It was well watered everywhere. Some say everywhere. Everywhere. Before the Lord destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah, like the garden of the Lord, like the land of Egypt uh, towards Zohar. It looked good, y'all. And Lot chose for himself. He said he chose for himself. Okay, I'll help you. All the plain of Jordan, and Lot journeyed east, and he separated from each other. And Abram dwelt in the land of Canaan, and Lot dwelt in the cities of the plain, and pitched his tent, even as for Sodom. Say, mm, mm, mm. But the men of Sodom were exceedingly wicked and sinful against the Lord. The Temptations had this song out, Pearson. Beauty is only skin deep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they talk about a woman there who can be fine on the outside. <laughs> but so untrue on the inside. <laughs> All right, now. Yeah. In other words, our choices matter if we want to go in the direction of God's blessing. But ooh, you listen, say amen. We can't always judge God's blessings by what it looks like. Amen. 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 Remember when we moved into this building, y'all? Remember when we said, oh, we're going to get this building right here? And it didn't look all that great on the outside, and the inside looked worse. <laughs> but we almost had a church split because we moved in there. <laughs> but once God's people, Amen. and once God's favor, and once God's spirit got a hold of this place, he changed it from a jacked up warehouse to a worship center to where we can give glory to the most high God. Abraham and Lot have been separated. Abraham just Lot the first choice. And Lot saw all that water, all that green grass windy, and said, oh, this looks good. Right? But Solomon and Gomorrah was in the background. Mm -hmm. Yet he still chose to go there. Mm -hmm. I can say a whole lot right there, Chris, but I'm not going to do it. <laughs> the word said even the land looked good, it was full of evil, sinful, mm -hmm. ungodly people. Mm -hmm. Not everything that looks good mm -hmm. is good to you, but good for you. Yeah. Yeah. Monica, tweet that wherever you are. Not everything that looks good <laughs> is good for you. Sometimes, y'all, it's better to come up the rough side of the mountain than take a shortcut and try to get God's blessing. The Bible says there's a way that seems right to a man. In the end, it leads to destruction. But we at the church, collectively at the church individually, have come up the rough side. Anybody here come up the rough side? Anybody here have to go through some things instead of taking the easy way out? But God is blessing us. God is moving us despite our hardships. We won't follow the world's way, but we're going to follow the way that the world walk with you, Jesus. We're going to walk worthy, our calling to fulfill. Lord, if you will hope over our steps to your blessing, we will do your will. Amen. Amen. And we are full circle to the future. Yeah. See, there was a young man who just became bank president, though, and, and, and he was. Uh, giving an exit interview to, this, to uh, his outgoing president who was at the bank for a long time and he asked him a basic question. He wanted to know how this old dude had become so successful. And the, best, uh, and the old dude looked at him and said, good decisions. Okay. I mean, that was good, but he wanted some more detail. So he said, how, how do you make good decisions? And the man thought about it and said, experience. That was good, but he wanted some more detail. He said, how, how do you get experience? The old dude thought for a minute and said, bad decision. <laughs> oh, come on, look at that tone of voice. Y'all made some bad decisions. Amen. I went to down and listened to some of your bad decisions, but I love y'all. Can I tell you all the truth and tell the truth, Pastor? Because by humanists, we can't always avoid making bad decisions. 
And we can also suffer because of the bad decisions of other people. Yeah. Amen. 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 We'll make some bad decisions every now and then. And every now and then the bad decisions of other people will mess us up. But if we commit to trusting in the Lord with all of our hearts and all of our minds and lean not to our own understanding and all our ways acknowledge Him, I'm a living witness that He will direct your path to every blessing. If you're so right here and thinking, God, you're the right road in that because you're trusting in Him. Amen. Amen. Gotta make a choice. Go in the right direction. But then watch it, y'all. After you deal with the chaos and the conflict, and then after you make the right choices, God will give you a confirmation that will lead you to a celebration of going in the right direction. Here's the good part. Of it. Here's it. Put the scriptures up, if you will. And then the Lord said to Abraham, after, someone say after, after, after Lot has separated from him, lift up your eyes and look from the place where you are, northward, southward, eastward, and westward. For all, someone say all. Oh. All the land which you, which you see I will give to you in your descendants forever. And I will make your descendants as the dust of the earth. So if a man can number the dust of the earth, then your descendants will also be numbered. Here's the part that made me shout. Arise! Yes. Walk in the land yeah. through its length yeah. and its width, and I will give it to you. Yeah. 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 Am I in the right church? Yeah. Arise! Walk in the land yeah. through its width yeah. and its width, and I will give it to you. Yeah. Yeah. Then Abraham moved his tent. And yeah. went by the terebinth trees of memory. I don't yeah. even know what that is. That just sounds good. <laughs> Who are in Hebron and built an altar there. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. Stop preaching right here, right? Yeah. Yeah. Lot has separated from Abram uh -huh. because Lot may not have been part of the original plan in the first place. Amen. Or he may have fulfilled his purpose. Amen. God speaks to Abram and shows him the vast area. That was his move. Next point, if you will. See, see. Next point. See, bang. Boom. <laughs> Confirmation, celebration in the direction of God's blessing, right? Mm -hmm. He says, look, the number mm -hmm. yeah. above number mm -hmm. yeah. of your descendants, mm -hmm. I'm going to give you. And that nation mm -hmm. is still in the earth today. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. And there's even a greater number of spiritual descendants through the promise of faith in Christ. Amen. But look, mm -hmm. okay. whatever the pressure, mm -hmm. whatever the pain, whatever the problems we have to go through right now, know that God has something greater for you in mind. Amen. The Lord tells Abram to look to the west, yeah. look to the east, yeah. look to the north, yeah. look to the south. Yeah, yeah. And everything, yeah. and everywhere you turn, yeah. I'm going to give you a blessing. Yeah. Look to the north. Yeah. Look to the south. Yeah. Look to the east. Yeah. Look to the west. Yeah. And everywhere you turn, yeah. I'm going to bless you. Yeah. Yeah. Can I tell you all the countdown key translation? Can I do it? Yeah. Everywhere I turn around, the Lord keeps blessing me. I'm blessed in the sea, I'm blessed in the field, I'm blessed when I come, I'm blessed when I go, I'm blessed in the country, I'm blessed in the city, I'll be blessed in the hotel, and I'll be blessed in the new building too. Yeah. 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 Get up. Get up. And get moved. Get 
And y'all was excited about the blessing. But you weren't excited about getting up. Uh -huh. <laughs> That's why we miss out on our blessings. Yeah. Because we don't want to get up on our third point of contact and give God some praise. Yeah. And get moved. Amen. Now's not the time mm -hmm. to wallow in the past. Yeah. Now's not the time yeah. to wallow in pain. Now's not the time to wallow in depression, but now is the time to get up and get moving. Serve the Lord. Bless the Lord. Come to Bible study. Be in prayer. Keep giving. Keep doing what the Lord called you to do. Watch this, y'all. Let me, let me see if I can get out here. This is the last point. Look, as Abraham and his people mm -hmm. get up oh. and start moving yeah, yeah, yeah. toward the blessing. Oh, yeah. As they got up yeah. and start moving yeah. toward the blessing. Yeah. As they got up yeah. and started moving yeah. toward the blessing. Yeah. They took time yeah. to stop where they are on the way to the blessing to give God some prayer. We're on the way to a blessing. You don't have to praise him when the blessing comes because he's a God who never fails in his promises. You can praise him like you got it right now. So let's take a praise break right here and give God the very best let me see if I can mess up a perfectly good sermon, Chris. I tell the story all the time, but y'all don't like it, so you help me out. It's, it's, it's a story. I believe Randy tells the story right. Police officer on night duty. He walked the street, saw a little, little boy sobbing and crying in the darkness. And, 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 and the little boy said, I'm lost. Please take me home. The officer said, okay, well, where do you live? I, I really don't know my address. I really don't know what street I'm living on. And so he started naming streets, and the boy didn't recognize any of them. And, and, and start walking through the town, and, and in, the, in the distance, in the distance, mm -hmm. they saw the town church mm -hmm. with a big cross well, yeah, yeah. on the top. Mm -hmm. right. And then the boy, although he was depressed and lost, got excited. Mm -hmm. And he said, look, Mr. Officer, my house is right near the church. Oh, all right. So if you can just get me to the cross, yeah. I will make my way home. Yeah. If you just take me to the cross, I can find, I can find my way home. But look, if you're looking for a direction, if you're looking for the gift, if you're looking for joy, if you're looking for purpose, if you're looking for eternal blessings, look in the direction of the cross. When Jesus took your sin and shame, the cross, when Jesus died for you, but don't stop there. Go from the cross to the empty tomb. When Jesus knows with all power to give you direction and to see the way, the truth, and the life. Mind focus Amen. on the cross of Christ. Amen. He will point you Amen. in the direction Amen. of his greatest blessing. Amen. Jasmine at last and did my Savior believe. Mm -hmm. And did my sovereign God. Uh -huh. Was he to vote yeah. that sacred head for such a worm as I? Yeah. It was at the cross! Yeah. At the cross! Yeah. We are first on the land, and the burden of my heart rolled away. It was there by faith. Yeah. I received my 
ready to go down for this place, but not out of the path of the Lord. He's laid out for us. Thank you for being a part of this service. I'm so excited about what God has in store for us. Amen. We're truly going for business and fruition. So now may the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face and shine upon you and be gracious to you. And may the Lord lift up the countenance of his glory and bring you peace. And now unto him who is able to keep us from falling, who is able to present us and direct us to the Father's throne in exceeding joy. To the only wise God and our Savior, Jesus Christ, be majesty, glory, dominion, and power, both now and forevermore. And let the church, under the living God, sing together with a loud voice. Let the church say amen.